Welcome to the walkthrough of Employee Skills Analytics application. Manage Employees Manage Employees menu is the first step for onboarding all employees of your organization. Initially, you can onboard the employees using Bulk Upload option. You will need to follow the field suggested by the system or you can download the sample file for your reference. Manage Titles Titles refers to designation. Each titles will be added automatically from the uploaded file. However, if you need to add it a new title, click on the Add Title button, input the title name, and click on Proceed button. Manage Roles Roles are not same as the titles. Roles convey a common set of skills required for a title or the designation. To add a role, click on the Add Role button, input the role name, and click on the Proceed button. Role Skills Profile Assigning RSP Assign the Role Skills Profile to the employee who best understands the skills for a role and they can create the RSP for the assigned roles. To assign a user, click on the user's icon and choose the user to be assigned. After the user is selected, click on the Assign User button. Now, the assigned user will be able to set skills and the proficiency for a role that has been assigned to them. The assigned user can now start creating the Role Skills Profile for the role. Go to the Role Skills Profile and select Create RSP menu and the user will see the list of roles assigned to them. Now click on the Add Skills icon. The intelligence system of ISOT will guide or list out the skills for the user to pick and add proficiency that are required for the role. After adding the skills and its proficiency, click on the Save RSP button. Each employee can create and update their skills profile. After the employee log into their account, go to the Employee Skills Profile menu, click on the My Skills Profile menu. The user can pick or search the skills and add their proficiency. After adding the skills and its proficiency, click on the Update button. And to send it for a review to the manager, click on the Send Manager Approval button. Manager reviews employee skills profile. To review an employee skills profile, go to the Employee Skills Profile menu and select Review Employee Skills Profile menu. You will see the list of employees who had sent their profile for the review. Click on the Approve button. Check the skills profile of the employee and you can change, give comments to their skills proficiency. To approve their profile, click on the Approve button. The manager also can check the employee's profiles that was already been reviewed. To check the profiles, click on the Reviewed Employee Skills Profile. You will see the list of employee profiles that was reviewed. To see each employee's profile, click on the View icon. You will see the skills and its proficiency and comments given by the employee and the proficiency and comments given by you. With the two data sets, it is Role Skills Profile and Employee Skills Profile, the system provides a useful and intuitive reports, such as Organization Skills Inventory, Organization Skills Gap, Skills Gap of Employees, Best Fit and so on. Skills Inventory of Employees in Skills Inventory of Employees, you can see the total skills of your organization and the number of employees in each skills and their proficiencies. The system also provides you data with average proficiency of each skills number of employees in each proficiency. You can also slice and dice the report by organization units, roles, titles, categories or by the skills. Further, there is an option to download the report as a CSV file. Organization Skills Gap In Organization Skills Gap, you can analyze the skills gap of the organization. This helps in indicating the overfit, fit, low to very high skills gap for each skills, where you can identify the employees by the fit level.
You can also slice and dice the report by organization units, roles, titles, categories, or by the skills. For further analysis, there is option to download the report as a CSV file. Skills Gap of Employees In Skills Gap of Employees, you can identify the gap level of each employees for each skills. The system provides intuitive information comparing the required proficiency and the employee's proficiency. This helps in identifying employees with low to high skills gaps and further use this data for various purposes, such as learning and development, upskilling, etc. Best Fit Best Fit Analysis is one of the useful features of ESA. With Best Fit, you can quickly identify the resource based on role, skills category or by combination of skill sets. This can be used for deploying resources for a project, quick fill of a position, employee career development, and so on. Employee Skills Gap with Employee Skills Gap, the system provides data of gap level comparing with the required skills proficiency and the employee skills proficiency. This is useful for employee for their career development. Employee Career Progression The system suggests the closest role that an employee can reach within the organization. Employees can check their skills proficiency and the gap level. Further, they can improve the skills to match 100% and keep them compete.